All right. We are here with Carolyn Doran Ballard, the uh, the new champion of the uh, World Bowling Tour. So, how does it feel having another title? You know, you don't get very many opportunities anymore. So, I know this is something that you'd work towards the entire year. So, how does it feel? It feels pretty overwhelming. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of games that are put into this, a lot of travel. I've been practicing, uh, you know, at the ITRC to get ready for this event, and it's just. You know, when I saw the score of the first match, I said, okay, well, it's not going to take 250 to win, which is my type of condition. And the game plan was just stay in the pocket, make the spares, and see what happens. And that's what I did. So uh, what ball did you use? I used a shooting star, one of the new balls by Rotogrip. So uh, as a spectator, we noticed that a lot of the balls just weren't finishing in the pocket. There were a lot of light sevens, a lot of yes. light tens. Uh, what adjustments did you try to make but not didn't want to get away from the pocket? Right, I didn't want to give away the pocket. And the thing is with this pattern, because it's a little flatter, the, the carry down tends to happen quicker and in a certain part of the lane. So the only thing I did was I moved my eyes a little bit closer to me so that I get the ball to roll a little more. I could pitch it a little bit out onto the lane and then get it to continue on the back. We noticed that uh, when Mika was uh, warming up, he was using a charcoal ball trying to burn up the front of the lanes. Did you think about doing that or try to change the, the line to not, suit you? I'm not one of those that tries to break the lane down for myself because it has a tendency to backfire on you. So uh, I knew from yesterday's practice that the two girls, Sandra and Nina, they liked to play them further to the right and they broke them down so I didn't feel it was necessary to make, mess with the lane condition. All right, so we we finished this tournament. Uh, what's next on your schedule? Um, let's see. Uh, maybe the over under forty at the end of the <laughs> month, at the end of December, and then probably um, I will be going to Japan in February to compete in a tournament out there. So you're gonna do this again next year? Travel I, internationally to do this again? I have again. to see if my boss will allow me to, yeah. but we'll see. Now that I won, maybe that's my little bit of uh, an edge. Yeah. Well, congratulations again, Caroline. Thank you. Thank you.